Hello and welcome. Today we are going to connect to a nano server. So we are going to look how to do that with the PowerShell. So in my environment, I'm actually sitting here at a domain controllers console with the graphical user interface. I'm the sysadmin. I'm Christian from Vision 6D. And the name of that machine is AD1 and has as IP address the one ending in .60. Here I have currently a nano server which is also in that network. It's not joined into the domain but it is available with the IP address ending in .51. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to establish a remote PowerShell connection from AD1 to the nano server. I am here going to test the way to connect to the nano server through the PowerShell. For that, I'm connected on the server which is AD1. I'm at the console of that server. What I will first do, it's an attempt to ping the nano server. So the nano server IP address is here, is 192.168.1.51. I'm going to ping it from the command tool. As you can see, I've opened it as administrator. In the beginning, I was surprised that no pings were coming back from the nano server. It even entered me into a long troubleshooting session, till I understood that the version I have doesn't respond to ping. So you might fall into the same issue as I did, so be aware that it might not respond to pings. So now we are going to see how to connect through the PowerShell. For that, I open the PowerShell with the administrator rights. And the first thing I have to do here is to try to access through PowerShell remote. For this, I need to add the IP address of the nano server to our management computers list of trusted hosts. This is the command that allows me to do that. You see, it modifies the trusted hosts. I say yes. And now the second command I'm going to, to use, it's to establish the session itself. For that, I will first define a variable which is the IP address of the nano server. And I'm going to define the user that I'm going to use. And this is going to be administrator at the IP address. Once I'm done with that, the command that will allow me to establish the connection is the following one. It's enter ps session and then the computer name and the credential where I refer to the user. It's requesting from me to, to give the password. And as you can see here, it's the IP address of the nano server which is responding, which means that if I key in the host name, you see that I have nano1 as a uh, nano answer. So I'm really now in connection with the remote server. For example, I can also request an IP config from the remote server. And we see that we are really here, first of all, into our domain with the DNS suffix here, and we are here really on that system, the 192.168.1.51. We can also have a closer look at the number of commands that are available. I will pipe this into measure. And you see that we have now uh, an amount of 1290 different comments that are available on the nano server. We'll see whether we can get some information about services. And here we have the services currently steps on the, for the, of the remote machine. It means that we really see here that we are on the machine 51. From here now, many commands are available, so it's up to you to use them and to test and to try and to learn. The commands I used in the PowerShell are here. 
it's advisable to copy them and to create a shell script out of this and they will be available on the video's description like that you can just copy and paste them for your own usage so far so good so i wish you a good time and see you soon bye